Welcome, my name is Elliot Pahl and I'm presenting our work with Oliver Brock about analyzing open loop grasping from piles. Yes, you just see me picking up a popcorn and eating it. And the interesting part is not that I'm eating a popcorn while I'm recording this video, but that I can pick up a popcorn even without looking. And we can do this easily and effortlessly while watching a movie at home or at, uh, at the theater. Why is it so? What skills do we have that we can so easily pick, pick up a popcorn? If we can figure out this question, then we might be able to transfer the knowledge or the skill to a robotic system. In our paper, we analyze this skill and transfer to a robot system. To do so, we want to understand not only what the hand or the robot has to do, but the pile's dynamics. Through that, we can understand what skills are required. So to understand what skills we need, we must analyze the interaction between the hand, the pile and the environment. We take a rather different approach than classical grass planning. In classical grass planning, we use exact models to compute where to place the fingers of the robot and what forces to apply to have a stable grasp. Now modeling the surface of a single popcorn, it's very difficult. And modeling their behavior while grasping from a pile, the motion, the dynamics, is very difficult. Therefore, we are searching for a higher level motion pattern that arises from our interaction with the pile. And now let's have a closer look what happens when I grasp a popcorn without looking from the pile. And we can already observe irregularity. When I push my hand inside the pile on the side of the bowl, then one corn centers in front of my finger. When that happens, I can simply pinch grasp it and lift it out. We can reproduce the same behavior with a robotic system. Here, the hand approaches the pile and is centered in front of two objects. And now, when it starts pushing the, uh, these two objects, you can see how one object rolls away and the other one centers in front of the hand. Then, the pile supports this object to roll inside the hand, and we can just simply close the hand to wrap around the object and pick it out. Just like I did with the popcorn. We observe the motion regularity both for popcorns when I grass them and for the tennis balls when the robot grasped it. We have seen that the hand was approaching the pile and it grasped one of the objects, like shown here, one of the grey objects was grasped. We are not aiming at any of the objects, we just pushed forward into the pile. And what we could see is that one object was separated, funneled inside the hand, from visualized here with this red funnel. And the rest of the objects moved away. The blue arrows show the objects that move away relative to the hand and the red arrows show the objects that are funneled toward the hand. And this behavior emerges because forces from the hand applied by on the objects are spread radially inside the pile and energy is dissipated through friction and through the object's dynamics. This dissipation creates funneling effect. And if we push further our hand, then one object is separated, then supported by the pile to roll on the hand. That we can grasp by closing the fingers on it. In our paper, we present an empirical study of this behavior by using a real robot and also in simulation. We use different environments. A simple table surface, a table surface with a wall, two walls that create a corner. We explore different types of objects, shapes, sphere, cylinder, cubes, irregular shapes, and different size of piles, a few objects or a lot of objects in the pile that was situated either on a flat surface, next to a wall, corner, or without any support. In most of our experiments, we use the RBO hand 2 for grasping. This is a soft compliant hand made of silicon and, and actuated pneumatically. We chose this hand because when we close the fingers, those can easily wrap around the object, taking the object shape and thus creating a firm grasp. But we also tested the pie's behavior with a wooden shovel. We showed both with the compliant and rigid end effector that the regularity manifests in piles and environments. And here are the results. 
that show that the interaction regularity inside the pile support grasping without aiming for one single object and without modeling the interaction between objects. Here we used two environments. The blue bars show when the pile was supported by a wall and the orange shows when the pile was supported by the corner. And we run 20 grasp attempts with tennis balls, with heavy tennis balls filled with sand, and with cylinders. And in all these, we can see that more than 95% of the cases, we can successfully grasp these objects by executing the same motion trajectory, thus proving that the interaction regularity does exist. So our further analysis our hypothesis is that actually this interaction regularity replaces the dynamics model because we can rely on the physics to consistently create the regularity. So we don't need to model it. For complicated shaped objects like popcorn, we will not be able to accurately model it. So here we will compare a model-free approach where we approach the pile without modeling the dynamics of the pile and without considering one single object. We compare a model-free strategy to a model-based strategy. For the model-based strategy, an expert models the pile's dynamics by iteratively tuning the grass strategy, selecting different hand positions relative to objects and relative to the pile, but executing the same forward motion. From this iterative tuning, we found out that the best strategy is aligning the object center to be between the index and ring fingers of the hand when pushed forward and selecting the object that is most sticking out from the pile, then pushing this object toward the center of the pile. We executed the model-based strategy on the same piles as before. And here the blue bars show the model-free approach and the model-based approach, where an expert tried to model the dynamics of the pile by selecting the most appropriate object. And as expected, both approaches, the model-free and model-based, can robustly grasp the light tennis balls and cylinders. However, we can observe a significant difference, 20% difference between model-free grasping heavy tennis balls and model-based grasping heavy tennis balls. This difference is because the expert was not able to anticipate the dynamics of heavier objects and their motion in the pile, thus selected the wrong object. The model-free strategy performs better because we didn't model the dynamic interactions between objects, so we avoided inaccuracies in our modeling. And rather, we relied on the regularity, on physics, that physics will perform the object separation and stabilization for us, just like grasping popcorn. In the paper, you can find many more analyses considering different properties of the problem, like object shape, mass, size, environment types, even different ND factors. We analyze this regularity with real-world experiments and also in simulation. We compare the two results and we show in our paper that there are qualitative similarities between simulation and the real world. However, there are significant gaps. Further motivating to rely on physics rather inaccurate modeling of the environment and dynamics for grasping from piles. In conclusion, we identified a motion pattern in piles that effectively separates and stabilizes objects for grasping. By leveraging this regularity, we can simplify the grasping and compose a simple grasping strategy that requires no object detection nor modeling the dynamics between objects. This is only one such motion pattern that humans exploit for grasping, and we think there are many more. Our paper shows a way to identify such motion patterns and transfer to a robotic system. Thank you for your attention and enjoy reading our paper.